So, new blaster. What's your thoughts on this? Um, when I use this move, if I shot the laser past the opponent, it, it would it, it knocks them in. pull them towards me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if I shot in front of them, it would be like push them away. So, uh, I it's, don't know. Like, it's an interesting move to use. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's it's pretty interesting. I I will never ever since ever since what they did to Falco's like laser in this game. I have like no plans <laughs> of using lasers ever unless my opponent's like off stage and you know like it's a free opportunity for me to put it out there because I won't get punished. Like it, I don't know, like something as a combo extender. Like if my you know, if I set my opponent away from me, if they're in mid-air and I'm trying to like follow up with a laser, I'll probably go for it, but uh Oh you so you mean like say they're in this disposition, you do you shoot it out, it pulls them in and you smack them? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I actually don't know how viable it would be if you're trying to pull them in because there's so much lag after the laser. I don't know if it would be yeah. such a follow-up. Yeah, the thing and is, just... pretty much, once it explodes is when you're able to move. Right. So, yeah. that's, that's me shielding there. Yeah, that's... Uh, probably, if anything, since it pushes them away as well, if I shoot the laser in front of them, I could maybe use it... To edge guard. Um, yeah. To push them out. So yeah. it, 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 it'll, it'll like it'll go either way, I guess. Like let me test a higher percent. What is it's, this? What exactly does this do at higher percent? Yeah. Uh, it's it's super. Oh, oh, it's set knockback. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did not know it's set knockback. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a fan of lasers <laughs> much in this game, but um, yeah, it, it might serve its purpose. It's really situational. Okay, so I guess we can move on from that. Now yeah. this move. Uh, this move, you're completely invincible, but you, it has no hitbox. And, it, and it's funny because right near the end, um, you can actually cancel the landing lag a little bit. Like, you notice that? Oh, that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. You see? Like, before you, um, you know, before he gets up, you could, like, cancel it with any action. Okay, so as has ISA frames? Yeah, instead of wasting time, like, trying to get up and all that. And you're invincible, yeah, uh, in the middle of it, but right near the end is when you can, like, get hit. Yeah, it's when he's falling. Yeah. So, like, would you use it? Because yeah. especially, especially since the way the ledge mechanics are in this game, where you can't, like, do this and get up and have invincibility. Like, you can't just do this and hope for the best. You're gonna, uh, get, like, you're gonna get smacked. So if you just back up and... So, I don't know. I like the fact that it's like a, an invincible dash that allows me to, you know, travel from one place to the other. But just for the simple fact that there's no hitbox, I probably wouldn't want to use it. And it, and it actually goes um, less distance than the original side B. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Just because the side B itself, I, I love the fact that it pops my opponent up and allows me to go follow for, you know, follow-ups. Follow -up. like, um, I could I could definitely see some really good applications with this move, allowing Falco to probably get out of a corner for free, you know, yeah. when he's in a pinch, maybe and reposition himself. But other than that, I really like the original side B, just for the fact that I can punish someone for doing something unsafe from afar. Uh yeah. oh, look, do I use see it use it like that probably yeah. out of shield. I can see it used when you're in a pinch more, um, uh, with Mark was in your face. You, uh, you, you could use out of the shield to get out of pressure. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, to get out yeah, of the... Exactly. Yeah, you just gotta jump cancel into the, that, and it's pretty quick. Yeah. But off ledge, I don't think I don't think it would be of much use, just because, since it doesn't have hitbox, like D1 said, um, they'll be able to just run right with you and punish you. Yo, I just found out something with this move already. Do you realize I was invincible when I was on the ground? Look. Oh, no. So, you but, see that white flash? For some reason, when I um, I already tested that on my own, and is that, that invincible? For some reason, during that white flash, I could still get hit. I don't know why there's a white flash if I could get uh, hit. so it's, it's, it's very so, deceiving. So it's a graphical error. Yeah, <laughs> not right there. Well, oh. rip. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was just checking. Because so when I first saw that, I went nuts, dude. I was like, wait a second, am I actually sitting there the entire time invincible? And um, what I did was I basically toss um I tested with someone they just basically like threw an item at me while I was staying there 
and it still hit it hit me and i was like well that's well, that well <laughs> all right then <laughs> moving on <laughs> yeah thanks sakurai so he's, just, he's just chilling there <laughs> he's just chilling okay. there for extreme okay so this move pretty much what i see is it has a very high chance of tripping compared to the other ones yeah and that when it reflects projectiles it goes twice as fast yeah i really like this one out of all of the other ones out of uh, out of like all the other shines so far because I've seen one of the shines that launches, but this one, just the fact that it forces a trip is it's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know if I could follow up. Uh, maybe for edge guarding. Like, I don't know what yeah. it does. Let me see. What does it do on airborne people? Oh, I forgot. You have to... Oh, no. Oh, nothing, really. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I get anything from that. Alright, moving on. So yeah. there's up B. Pretty much, it's just quicker. It is it's slightly less distance than his other RP, his default. It's just extremely fast. And you can see how how easily I can like keep going back and forth. Yeah. And also, like the momentum he does when he sh shots upwards, it kind of carries him. Mm -hmm. So, this is kind of like changing his up B into a side B. Right. Somewhat. As a hitbox, but it's not too strong. So this is more of a speed version than a pow than going for a kill. This is just I need to get on stage now, <laughs> and just to show that it does sweet spot. Some of bees do not sweet spot in this game. What do you think about this one compared to the default? Hmm. Um. Let's see, I tested this move out as well. I like it. Um. Could you like charge the fire? Firebird right near him again. See if there's like. Wow, wait. Yeah, there's nothing to start. Yeah, there's a hit on the start. It's just Mario's small. <laughs> All right. See if you could get as close as possible, cause I'm like, dang. Yeah. Wow, it doesn't. Oh, you mean like the startup? Does it hit? It doesn't hit up yeah. on startup. Yeah. Uh, he has to start moving. Yeah. Cause I kind of like the how the original has a hitbox on startup, but at least this one activates fast. No, I thought I thought Falco's original doesn't have. A her box. Unless they changed no. it. No, it's like bro. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Usually you think in melee. Yeah, yeah I am. I was, not. I was for a bit. Okay. Is it? This one is definitely a lot harder to punish because that's kind of ridiculous how fast I'm doing this. Oh yeah. So. It's like if you could actually use Honestly, it for possibly. I think it has combo potential too. I think um, it's. Can you? Do, let me see. Oh, you, nah, I don't know if you could use this out of shield. <laughs> Maybe. Like, it is quick, and it does get you, like, out of there. So... Yeah, could yeah, you, was... like, jump in the air and aim diagonally down and towards the stage? Like, like oh. hit the stage. He doesn't bounce. Okay, that's what you... Yeah, the okay. bounce thing. For him, just... for him to bounce, you have to be really close to the ground. But if you appear... Oh, that's interesting. So I think it has to do with the angle. Um, yeah, I, than... I, just, I just made him slide, though. From that high. Hmm. It has to do with the angle that you hit the stage at, rather than how far you are from it. Seems yeah. like it. So if you hit there it you at, a, at a um, greater than 45 degree angle, then... Yeah, if it's 45 degrees, it's doing that. But if I go slightly above that, he's going to slide. Like that. Let me see. It's kind of hard to get angles on 3DS. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, it doesn't... The bounce takes a little longer, though. But yeah. if he slides, he just... He's good. See, they, there. He just landed on his face. Alright, I guess that's it for these moves. Mm -hmm. Alright. You have every single one of his? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're going over all the new complete sets we have. Gotcha. And I have quite a bit. Okay, so this new 2B, pretty much Fox's laser. Not as good though. I don't think it. Sh I don't think Fox's laser shoot that. Ra Does it shoot that rapid in this game? Mm -hmm. Oh, one sec. Still looks slower than the other games. Wait one second. So 
so. It looks slightly slower. Yeah. Alright, do that again. I'm like was replying to people. Okay, so these are lasers that don't flinch, but they come out quick. Yeah, it's like foxes, but not exactly. Wait, how quick can he, like, act after doing that? Nah, yeah, not, not too much recovery. Yeah, that was way better than his regular standing laser. And that's some rapid firing, and then that's some shooting in the air. Could, could you show hop laser it? Uh, no. Oops. No. Since I know, like, it, it, it seems like there's low lag on it, might as well, like, see if... How bad the recovery is if you try to short hop. Yeah, the, the animation just carries over to the ground, so... Yeah, so, it's the same. Regardless of being in the air or not. Hmm. Still not bad then, I guess. Since there's mm. low recovery. Yeah. I guess it's more useful, I guess. But... Nah. <laughs> I mean, if you if you instant laser, like jump instant laser, uh, short hop instant laser, then you should be able to treat it the same way as if you're doing short hop blades you just can't fast fall it to the ground and have the same lag. Yeah, since the, yeah. Yeah, the lag's gonna carry over so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, but this doesn't have that much lag compared to the other. Compared to the others. Alright, so as it is side B. Oh, okay. So yeah. I love that move. <laughs> okay, so let me see. It doesn't look too far either, but it has a hitbox. Okay. So it, it's it's weaker really it's weaker at the end, but the startup is ridiculous. Yeah, uh, but yeah. still, that's not too. Sh eh. As the effect of like, say, if you're trying to edge guard Ness and then Ness hits you with PK Thunder, type of thing. That's the only reason that this will happen. I don't think you can actually hit people with this because, as you can see, it's not even killing. He's at 189. Yeah, like I'd probably be better off with the default. Just hitting my opponent with a forward smash or something. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that doesn't hit backwards. Yeah, it's too high percent. Wow, he's still not dying. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> this one is a yeah. this one's a dip. So alright, so what is, All right, so for this one. Launches oh. the opponent up. Yeah, this is the launcher one. I like it. And this one nullifies projectiles. Once he shoots it. Yeah, that one nullifies it. Mm-hmm. Does it still have a hitbox after it nullifies? Uh, it should. Go the projectile and then hit it. Let me see. Mario being disobedient as usual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he just rolls. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sick. So I was like, edge guarding wise, if you do this. Man, that's actually a good knockback. That was 70. Not bad. I don't know if it goes under the stage. I highly doubt if it does. A lot of recovery after it, though. Mm -hmm. It's because, like, you could do that to somebody. But it's like the recovery is a, a bit much. Yeah. Oh, that almost killed. Wait. Wait, there's a difference of. Let me see. That's spaced. Up close. No, it's the same. Uh, what do you think about this one? You just you like this one over all of them, or you like the default uh, second one more? For me? Yeah. Uh, hmm. I re I like the default one only because um it sends projectiles back and it sends opponents away. You know. Yeah. So it's a double spacing move. Yeah. This is this is pretty cool. You know, since it sends the opponent upwards, then it comes out pretty quick. I could probably like you know it sets up for a chase as well. Hmm. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't look that like much on shield, from what I just checked. But I was thinking like, looking at the range and that it comes out at, I could prob probably just opt for a dash attack anyway, if my yeah. opponent is something unsafe, and then still follow up. And you know, so I might as well. Uh, I don't know. I might. I might just skip this because I really like the fact that it reflects. Since there are a lot of characters in this game that have really strong zoning tools, and I wouldn't want to give up the ability to reflect projectiles back to them. You know? Yeah. Because I could launch them in here. Yeah, so that's a. Uh, it's okay, but not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a pretty fair trade off, I guess. Okay. Send the opponent in the air, and then you can nullify. <clears throat> I like the laser a lot, though. Especially since the regular one, like the default laser, doesn't even, you know, it lags so much. Even though it stuns, it's like, who cares? 
You know, I might as well have a laser that doesn't have that much recovery. Yeah. And uh, even though it doesn't stun. Okay. Uh, as for this one, I know this one has a this one has a strong hit on startup. Okay. But if you space it, it hits multiple times, which does even more. Ooh, so, twenty. Oh, okay, I thought it did twenty. It only that's did twenty-two. It. Right Done there. Yeah. yeah, if you hit the start of it, it doesn't hit all the way, but if you space it a bit. And this one actually goes. That goes much further. This may be the best one out of the three. That's quite far. Wow, it, what? That is slow, but it's. <laughs> that's oh. a lot of distance. 22 Falco's, damage? Crap. Uh, Falco's first legit up B. Okay. Uh, well, it depends on how it hits. Like, you could probably get more depending on how they DI. See, they pop, kind of pop out. But does the um does the initial hit, uh, the close hit, have more knockback than the... No, that's the initial uh, hit there. I said this may be the best one for his recovery. You just gotta be careful because being you're gonna be like under here for a while. So... Because the other one is, get me on stage now. This one is like, okay, I need to make this, re even reach the stage to begin with. Okay. So what does this do if it hits the ground? Bounces. Okay. Alright. Oh, that made a trip in a very strange way. So yeah, that's a 20 at that far. So what do you think? This may be the best one, to be honest. And if you... While you're while he's charging it, the flames don't burn, right? Oh, mm -hmm. no, no. Hmm. I don't know what it. I mean, for for recovery is the best one. Yeah. Because that's recovery. that's really far. So let me go down here. Yeah, that reaches. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> that reaches. Okay, I'm in a bubble now. I'm in a bubble that reaches. It still reaches. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to go further. I was like, I was trying to push it. Okay, so... Yeah, the fact that it actually... I think it does the most damage out of all three and the furthest. You just gotta deal with... There's a possible edge guarding. Yeah. But That's there's one thing to note. Since you, you did already show us that you kind of... You could go really far away on the stage and activate it so the opponent probably might have to i don't know take a risk when it comes to edge guarding to even reach you yeah but then again a lot of characters can go really deep like the villager and still edge guard you and come back yeah, yeah. So, um i don't know i, I still like the, the the original one only because it has the hitbox on startup but this one ha has the you know way better reach and damage. If, yeah, 22? What the crap? How did you get that? Um, I think you gotta be right here. Okay. It, it, either Mario's DI'ing in, or... There we go, 24. Whoa! <laughs> I said, it all depends how they DI. Yeah. Mm. yeah man, that's crazy. I'd have to actually use it in battle enough, and then, like, I guess, that's it. give a good testimonial. Because this is all hypothetical, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, that's it for Falco. And did anyone mention another character? Uh, uh, I don't I think so. Saw someone say Mega Man, I think, in there. But I already got it on YouTube. Have a, yeah, video. Question now: That up B, it had a lot of startup, did it? Um, it looks like it's maybe ten more frames than the default one. Yeah, so it's <laughs> about like, so it's not that much extra. Mm, ten, I mean, uh, it's ten not, frames might be enough. Ten, ten frames is enough for a uh, reaction. Ten, ten frames is enough for like a quick reaction if you have good reaction time. Um, yeah, I, mean, I, I was able to tell right there that it took a while for it to charge longer than the yeah. original, which yeah. could probably mean it, you know, I'll have enough time to react when I see it off stage. Okay, just to compare with the default. Oh, Yoshi or Lucario? What the crap? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the yeah, default. faster. Yeah, it's like I know this one's faster. And, and once again, okay. See it? See, it's not exactly on startup. It's a little after startup still. 
Mm. Yeah, so it, it still takes a while for it to kick in. Okay. So by the time it kicks in, you're already about to be moving anyway. Yeah. Yeah, actually, let me see. Because if you're going for this one, you might as well just get the speed one if you don't... <laughs> I think the default actually may be the worst. Now, I thought it was like immediately on startup, but it's not. I don't know. If I was if I, if I was playing Falco um, and I had to choose one, I would probably choose the speed one, honestly, because it allows for more unpredictability. And yeah. Because of the fact that Falco's recovery is historically pretty punishable. Yeah. I, I This is all theory crafting still, of course, because I don't know what the edge guarding capabilities in this game, but... I'd probably go for speed, um, and the fact that it still has a kind of a hitbox, even though it's a weak one, it's still a hitbox. I think it has like best of both worlds. Yeah. Um, D1, I know you're big on the on the startup damage, but I don't know. It's like it's not fast enough to make a difference for me, fast. at least, because it seems like right as the hitbox hits on that 